This tutorial will show you how to paint your 3D models using high resolution photographs as sources. This technique will allow you to preserve the highest possible level of detail allowable by the source images and the destination texture maps. Please note that the photographs should be pre-prepared for consistent color and lighting. Poorly lit photographs with inconsistent color tinting will yield undesirable results, so take the time to get the source images right before proceeding. Here we have the model of a head that we'd like to create a photorealistic texture for. To accomplish this, we will use a few high resolution images, which are approximately 35 megapixels in size. These images have also been edited for flatness, maximum color richness, and sharp detail. Also note that the destination model itself has four maps applied to it, with the face map having 16 megapixels in itself. You may be tempted to load them in as reference images, and to use the clone brush like this. However, doing it in this way may result in a loss of resolution. To transfer the textures while preserving the best possible resolution, we will load them in as brush images and set up a fixed plane tiling. So first, let us drag and drop a photo reference into the brush image box. Then press the V hotkey to see the brush image tiled across the object. Then press the Setup button in the Texture Options window, or use the Shift V hotkey to activate the Brush Tile Setup tool. Choose the Fixed Plane type, then choose the Frame option and drag out a box around the model. You can then use the Move and Size options to roughly line up the image. The photo reference and the model do not have the same shape, so you cannot line it up perfectly. But that's okay, we'll address that issue shortly. Now, press the V hotkey again to remove the overlay. Choose the basic paintbrush. Select the Use Symmetry option. And start painting on the model. Zooming in, we can see how much detail has been preserved, since the reference image is 35 megapixels and the destination texture map is 16 megapixels. Now, notice how the lips and the nose did not line up properly with this model. To fix this, we'll simply adjust the fixed plane and repaint those areas. Press the V key again to display the overlay, Shift V to open the Brush Tile Setup tool, and make the adjustments. Now choose the paintbrush and simply paint on the problem areas. We can now repeat the entire procedure using photos from different angles. Notice how the texture does not look very good from the front. Let us now load in the front image. For this angle, let us turn off symmetry so the texture doesn't look too symmetric. Again, we will adjust the fixed plane by pressing the V hotkey to display the overlay and the Shift V hotkey to use the Brush Tile Setup tool. This time, we'll also do a slight rotation along the tilt axis. We will now paint mainly along the center of the face, but first let us turn on the Fade by Angle option to avoid painting over the results of the previous angle. Gently just paint over the parts which don't look so good, leaving the rest as they are. Notice how we're just painting over the eyes as if they were a simple feature of the face. For more professional results, you'll want to take a more sophisticated approach.
Just to show off the fact that we can paint across UV seams in multiple texture maps, let us paint a bit of your hair across this boundary. Notice how far we can zoom in without any noticeable breaks in the texture. Using this technique, you can texture the entire head and body, creating an ultra-realistic human character. Of course, that technique can be extended to any type of model, as long as you have suitable reference images. Notice how clean and crisp the, the textures came through, with minimal texture stretching. With Blacksmith 3D Paint and a good set of reference images, you can create elite textures and be the envy of all your friends.